So these are examples now where we've got some oxygen involved in them um, and it makes it just uh, have a couple more steps in it. So this time we're going to have four things that we do. We're going to first of all balance the non-oxygen or hydrogen element in there. So over here this is our manganese which is balanced. Secondly we're going to um, balance the oxygens. Now we do that with H2O because that way we keep the oxygen's oxidation state the same. So for this one we've got four oxygens here so we will need four waters there to balance that with. Now of course this has now introduced us another problem. We've just added some hydrogens. Now the hydrogens are in plus one oxidation state here, so we have to balance them with exactly the same oxidation state that side. So we will balance them with H pluses. So eight H pluses will make that balance. Finally, we now come to the charge. So it's exactly the same as before. We look at the overall charge this side, which at the moment is plus two. We look at the overall charge this side, which at the moment is the 8 plus minus 1, so it's 7 plus. So we will need 5 electrons to bring that down to the 2 plus charge. That's now balanced. You can do this similarly with something like the one below. Um, this has got oxygens both sides, but we follow the same rules. The nitrogens are both balanced to start with. The oxygen is three this side, only two here. So we add a water to get those oxygens to balance. We then take a look at the hydrogens. So we will have to put some hydrogens on this side. And finally, we look at the charges. So at the moment, we're minus one on the left. And on the right, we are plus one. So therefore, we need to add two more electrons to get us to minus one on both sides. That is now balanced.